what's up guys visual here but you can call me James and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to correctly price your design work. So guys, I get asked this question so many times. I get asked it on YouTube, on Twitter, everything. What is the best way to actually price your design work? Are my prices too high? Are they too low? Can you give me opinions? How much would you pay for this? And in this video, I'm basically going to be explaining everything. I'm gonna show you how to correctly price your design work and what you shouldn't do. And overall this video, by the end of watching it, you will be able to have an understanding of how to price your personal work. Of course, if you do get your prices down, then you will be getting more clients and overall, making more money which is probably your aim as a graphic design business. So without further ado I'm going to get started with the four tips I have noted down. The first one I have noted down is designing for free. Now I'm just going to say straight off the bat this is a big no-no. First of all it is a waste of your time which is probably your most valuable possession as a graphic designer time and you're wasting a lot of it designing for free. The only exception I have to do in free work is probably going to be um, if you're a brand new designer and you have no work on your portfolio and you want to get your portfolio built up with obviously lots of work maybe go ahead and design for your friends then maybe go ahead design for people that are supporting you um, even people that are messaging you I guess but other than that I would not design for free as I said because it's a big waste of time another thing I would like to throw in here under this topic of designing for free which is a bit more specific to the YouTube and also like gaming community if you are in a Call of Duty clan or anything like that make sure that you're not designing free work for them because that's just a huge waste of time in my opinion. You could use that time to design work for other big creators and actually building up a really strong portfolio, not just Call of Duty headers. <laughs> Moving on to the next topic I would like to talk about and that's hourly rates. I know not too many people actually charge hourly rates for design, but there is a lot of people that do it this way. And I'm just gonna say straight off the bat, I do not recommend this method purely because something that may take you an hour now. Next year, it may only take you 30 minutes to make and you're getting less money for basically being quicker and more efficient, which I really don't agree with. I don't see the sense in um, actually charging hourly rates at all. And as well as that, it's not just the design that takes you um, that certain couple of hours. It's also the planning and also like uploading files, changing stuff and so forth. So to basically sum this up, it's really quick. Do not charge hourly rates and don't design for free. Okay, so now we move on to the more valuable points. Uh, first of all, we're gonna talk about understanding your value to the client. Now by this, I mean, depending on your client and their overall status, you may find yourself having to charge less or having to charge more. I'm gonna give you guys a prime example for this. We all know the BBC, the British Boral Cut. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll put the logo on screen right now. You can see it's literally just three letters and three squares. I'm sure we could all make this. I'm not even gonna lie. I probably could make this in Microsoft PowerPoint or even like Word or something, but regardless, this logo actually does cost a lot of money. Let's say for example, one of your family members was starting up this business called the BBC and they wanted you to make this logo. So you made the logo and you charged them, I don't know, let's say, what would you charge for that? It only took you about 10 minutes to make. Let's say you charged, I don't know, $10. On the other hand, if a massive company such as the BBC actually contacted you to make this logo, the, uh, a company worth like, I don't know, billions, you wouldn't be charging $10, would you? Now the actual price of this logo is 1.8 million according to Google, which don't ask me how. Basically, to sum this point up, understand your value to the client, okay? If the client is more successful, has more revenue coming in, is a bigger business, you're gonna be charging more, it's just how it works. So, as I said, yeah, understand your value to the client and that's definitely going to affect your prices. Okay, so the final point I would like to cover is pricing your work at what you believe is right. I know so many people message me, how much do you think this thumbnail is worth? Now, what I think the thumbnail is worth could be completely different to what you think the thumbnail is worth. So, basically, Basically, base the actual prices of what you believe is right. Sit back and look at it and be honest with yourself. If it looks trash, then be honest and it looks trash, so charge a, a, a much smaller amount. But, but just go ahead and look at the design and think to yourself, how much would I pay for this design if I was a client? And that always helps um, actually price your designs. And also one more thing I'm gonna say, if you're asking people for opinions on your prices, do not ask your friends because they're more than likely gonna be biased. So go ahead and pick some random people off Twitter or like people that you literally don't speak too much and you can just go ahead and ask for their opinions on your prices. Maybe they'll tell you that you're undercharging loads or you're overcharging loads 
So um, yeah, that's definitely a tip. Sit back and look at your designs and price it at what you believe is right. And yes, guys, so those are the four tips I wanted to cover in this video. If you did go on to enjoy the video and it did help you, then please be sure to leave a like on the video. That would be much appreciated. Also, if you would like to see more design videos like this in the future, then please consider subscribing to the channel with post notifications on and you will be notified every time I upload a brand new video. And finally, if you are looking to improve any of your design skills, then make sure you check out my design store, selfie.com forward slash visual JD. And on there, I have loads of graphic design packs and templates. Regardless, guys, as I said, hopefully you all enjoyed. This has been Visual or James and I'm out of peace.